This is Modin's SB6190 and it has the NAND flash. We previously used the NAND, U-Link NAND to read the flash. And now we are able to use the EMMC and uh, since I have made the video last time, people ask if we can use the EMMC method to read the SB6190. In this video, I'm going to show you how this was done. The same controller is being used here and I have a uh, hot glued a pin header here and hook up uh, wires, uh, five wires, power, ground, and command line, clock, and data zero. So Ulink NT will connect like this. I will um, power. The connection needs to be uh, noticed is the pin 8 and pin 10 are connected together so it can reach the maximum read speed and write speed. So now let's connect to the... In the software, uh, I have selected the TM1602 EMMC and the most important thing is look at the size. The size is 60 or 706000, which matches the same as uh, we did in the uh, 1602. And now we can read the flash. In the meantime, we can select a folder. Let's call this one and create a folder called EMMC. And in the meantime, we can look at these data has been read and they are quite meaningful, like here, error link. These are text screens. The EMMC method for modem probably is the best compared to the NAND method because the data is not encrypted. And the file you saved can be uh, mounted as SD card by the Linux. Okay, let's save as a backup. So let's compare. Yeah, let's erase it. And if you compare again, it will fail. Oh, sorry. Let's compare one more time and it will fail because we already erased it and let's reprogram it so 
So the key point to, to is, uh, for this mod is you need to make the proper connection and these pads are quite thin and you need to scratch the, the paint carefully. These wires are quite short and you can, you know, unplug it and even mount in the case without even notice it. So the write speed is about 570 kilobyte. Um, compared to the NAND method, it's probably around the same speed, but it's much simpler. Only five wires needs to be connected and one is power and one ground, uh, two data line and one clock line. By the way, uh, in the software, the connection is in here. Uh, DAT is connected to 8 and 0, and the clock line is here, as well as the command line is on pin 4. And then you have a power 3.3 volt from the Unicam and T, and then the ground. After finish, we can do a verify. Program passed. Now we can unplug USB and remove the connection here. And we can even, even put it into the case like so. This is put in that case and Snap on and it looks like it not touched. Okay, in this video, uh, I show you how to use the ENMC uh, with the Unicam T to program the SD, uh, the, the NAND flash inside, and it's quite reliable compared to the NAND method.